Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Everybody pull out a piece of coral note paper, please. Oh! Where'd she go? What the? Okay, we're gonna have a contest. I'm gonna say a letter, you're gonna tell me what it stands for, okay? P. Right. D. Dedication. Dedication. <laughs> I. It's on your D. E. Excellence. Excellence. R. We've been asking a lot of people what pride means. P R I D E. What do each of those words mean? Let's go find out. Uh, what does it mean to be prepared? Prepared to be ready for class or anything that comes your way. Have your binder. Have all your materials in class. What does it mean to be prepared? That means um, have everything you're supposed to have when you're supposed to have it so that you can do your job the best you can. What does it mean to be prepared? To be prepared means to come to class ready with your binder, to be ready to learn. What does it mean to be respectful? Um, to be respectful means to treat others how you would like to be treated. And to show respect towards others is to be nice, kind, and don't do anything horrible to others. Right here. I'm not legal. <laughs> Really? I is not afraid of you. Do you have integrity? Um, I guess, yeah. What does it mean to be, to have integrity? Um, uh, well, to me, integrity is somebody that's uh, a man of their word, that is true to themselves, and stands up for what they believe in. To be dedicated means to be ready for school, and like, try to do your best in school, and I don't know, just try hard to see it. What does it mean to be dedicated? Dedicated means you always do your very best, you never give up, and you reach for the stars. The E in pride stands for excellence. What does it mean to be excellent? Um, to just do your best in, on tests and stuff. It means to know you did your very best and you didn't give up too fast. I think that's excellence for me. Hey guys, we have a problem with running in the halls. Don't run in the halls. So <laughs> let's do a walking challenge. Walking challenge, cool. So these two girls are gonna have a walking contest to the drinking water fountain. Three, go! Walk, 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 walk. That was a run. Was that a run? I think Natalie won. That was a total run. You ran. Walk it, ready, go! I'm ready to Okay, let's go. We can walk quickly in the halls. Can. Can't we? So, um, Arun, go over there. And we're gonna have you race both of the ladies, okay? 
Whoa. Whoa. That was amazing. Who won? Okay, Luis wants in on this action. He was telling us to be quiet a second ago. Go! <laughs> so, we're gonna have a little contest to see who can walk the fastest. Three, two, one, go! Walk. Walk. Do people sometimes run upstairs? Yeah. Do they? Are you supposed to run upstairs? But do you think you could walk upstairs? Yeah. First one to get there wins, but you can't run. Does that make sense? Make sense? Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, here we go. And on your marks, get set, go. I think that counts as, this guy was running. How do you, what does it constitute running up the stairs? Mm -hmm.